Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. I am here with a fall haul, but not just any old fall haul, a fall thrift haul. Let's get into it. share this channel with my husband and our two daughters Mila and Nyla and here we share all things life love family fashion home decor and more so if any of that sounds interesting to you please think about subscribing and join our growing family I am here with the fall haul and I'm so excited to show you all the stuff that I got y'all this is the first time that I have shopped for like seasonal decor I'm not I'm not big on switching up my home when I put it together and I find something that I really like, that's boom, that's what it is. It's evergreen, the palette is usually pretty neutral. So I just kind of keep it that way year round. But for some reason, I am feeling really inspired to decorate for the fall. I don't know, I don't know what it is. But I didn't want to break the bank, just like updating with random fall decor. So I hit up the local thrift store, but I still went with a modern eye and with my evergreen taste in mind. So these are things that I'm incorporating for the fall season, but they're evergreen. Like I said, they can they can stay here all year round. So backstory, this all got started when I was watching Hannah Naylor's Fall Decorate With Me series. And she started talking about florals that she got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm like, that is a really great way to incorporate fall decor. But then I went to Hobby Lobby and it cost an arm, leg, and three feet for stems. <laughs> I did end up getting some dried florals. Long story short, I wasn't paying the Hobby Lobby prices. Popped into the thrift store and they had new, like new florals in, not secondhand, but new florals in for the fall season. So. I bring you a fall haul. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, so I popped in there actually in the morning of one day and in the morning the next day. And I started just looking for fall florals. And look at these pretty tones. Like this is still in line with what I like in general, but just like some deeper purple hues and browns. I really feel like bring it into um, the fall season without being tacky and like predictable and just like I don't know kind of I don't know y'all know the word I'm looking for I can't think of it right now but we weren't going for that so I picked these up and this one was 50 cents this little lotus pod and I saw these at Hobby Lobby and they wanted way too much for them I even looked on Amazon and I think like a pack of six of these was like $15 or something I'm not paying for it this was 50 cent and even if I have one little dried lotus pod that's good enough so I picked that up and I just thought it was so pretty I've been on a hunt to get more but every time I go they're gone this woman this was the last one that I can find this woman came in and like scooped up every single lotus pod that was there so <sighs> I found this little lonely one so pretty though and so that one had a price tag on it of a dollar but it was orange tag day and it was an orange tag so I got it for 50 cent and these did not have a tag on them so I paid a dollar each and so I, I have this like plum colored double rose stem which I thought was really pretty for a dollar and then these like dusty pink like mauve rosebuds I thought were super cute and then there's this little spray of smaller flowers and then just the another one of that the other one that I showed so cute so three dollars and fifty cent got me all of these fall florals um, and the next day I went back and got more florals but I've already styled those because I was too excited we'll talk about those a little later in the video keeping with the things that I got that day I got a total of 17 items for $16 so it started out with the florals and then I moved on to the candlestick section and I love love the candlestick section and I got these two little cuties how cute and like classic are these I believe they were a dollar a piece yeah 
a dollar a piece real brass like really heavy metal and they do have some aging on them but that's actually what i like they got a little wax on them too so whoever had these used them and loved them and they passed it along and so now i'm going to use them and love them but i just thought those were too cute and whenever i see a, a pair of brass candle holders i'm buying them especially at two dollars boom i also got another pair these were $1.99 each, but they're a bit heavier and a bit larger, but still beautiful. And again, they have some show of age on them, and I just, I don't know. I love them. I love them, and I feel like they're going to be a really nice touch to anywhere, like on top of some books, on a shelf all their own, nightstands, bathroom, kitchen, um, even the mantle, our fireplace mantle. Like these can just go all over the house, and I love them. $1.99 so four dollars for those two and so then I went into like the handmade pottery bases type section and I found this piece and it is unbranded like this is somebody's handmade piece of glazed pottery but I just thought this was so cute it's almost like a plum like a plum tone like a true plum but it's also got some signs of age. There's a little bit of like imperfection, some nicks and such on there, but I just think it gives it more character. So I picked that up and I think it would be really beautiful with some florals in it or just styled on a stack of books or, you know, anything like that, just to add a little depth and a little touch of fall. So I picked that up and then I got this little wooden lidded box and it's Noelle Tate. I've, I've talked about her in other thrift haul videos. Well, the one other that I filmed that you've not seen yet. <laughs> so, spoiler alert, there's more of these videos coming. And she found some lidded boxes like these in antique shops. And they were running in like anywhere from like $5 to upwards of like $15. And I found this one for $1.99. And it was Orange Tag Day, so I got it for a dollar. This little lidded box. I probably won't use it for storage more again just for like shelf decor but again I love just the distressing on it and the signs of wear and tear I'm not gonna try to sand it down and refinish it and make it look new and fresh like I like the fact that it looks aged so pick that up and on my way out I saw this on a display shelf and I just thought it was super quirky it's like a, um, a wooden mug but I'm gonna use it as a vase and put some florals in it and like put it in the kitchen or something like that and another orange tag it was 50 cent y'all 50 cent and i just think it's so cute like let me give you a little quick example like how cute would that be on the counter or next to some books or on a desk or something like super super cute best dollar and 50 cent you i ever spent okay <laughs> so i got that I also picked up this little picture frame for a dollar and I just loved the brass detail. Like, look at that y'all. Cute, so cute. For shelf styling, maybe even in the girls room, anywhere, like this thing can go anywhere. And it's in really good condition too. So grab that. What else did I get? Oh, this piece of pottery that's already on a shelf. So I'll cut to that. But I got this piece of pottery, again, in like a plum tone, and I just thought it would be nice for shelf styling and an easy way to incorporate some fall colors. The plum color, like purple, is not really in our general color scheme, but I just felt like it was a real like nice complement to the blues and grays and those kind of hues that we have going on. So picked that up, tested it on the shelf for a little styling moment and I actually really love it there so it's been living there ever since I brought it here to, to test it out and so yeah pick that one up for whatever this pottery it was also for $3.99 I don't know if I told you this, this was $3.99 but that one was $3.99 as well since they both were pottery pieces the lady just scanned both of those the second to last item that I got was actually one of their reusable fall bags in the leaves print which they don't always have they have like other stuff like pumpkins and whatnot but i'm, I'm not into that so i picked up the leaves bag for a dollar because 
my local Goodwill. I don't know if any of them still give out bags, but mine doesn't anymore. And so I picked that up just to make it easy to like carry my stuff in and out of the stores when I'm out shopping. So got that for a dollar and I'm fiddling with my hair because it's getting warm. So we need to speed this up. Okay, and the last item that I got on the first day that I went was this huge picture frame. And it's nice and heavy, solid wood. And I loved this. I've been eyeing this for a while actually, but it was $10. And here's my, and yes, $10 is not like expensive for a frame, let alone a framed piece of artwork. But here's my philosophy. They got it for a donation, okay? AKA for free. So there's just like a certain price point that I feel like I shouldn't have to pay. <laughs> And I was not willing to pay $10 for a frame, but I did think it was beautiful. I loved like the ornate detail, right? And then this is somebody's actual piece of art, like it's signed. It says it was done in Portugal. So I am gonna keep that art piece, but not to display. I definitely wanna change that out and put it in, put something in it that's more art style. But it was actually an orange tag. Ugh. So I got it for, five dollars instead of the ten that it was listed for and now that i think about it it was actually customer appreciation day or something so all of the orange tagged items were actually a little bit cheaper than what i'm saying i'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my receipt and let you know exactly the prices okay so that picture frame was five dollars but then the new price for appreciation day or whatever was 278 so i actually got this frame for 278 not the 10 dollars see it pays to wait that's a message come on okay i'm doing too much let's move on <laughs> and any of these items that were a dollar like this lidded bowl well actually no that was 199 but the new price on this was 55 cent so i got that for 55 cent y'all I'm getting excited again just because I forgot how much I actually saved. That little wooden cup that I said was 50 cent was actually 27 cent. And that little flower that I said was 50 cent was actually 27 cent as well. So she's out here saving dollars, okay? So I actually went back the very next day looking for more fall florals, <laughs> namely those lotus pods, because I just love those for fall. I don't know what it is about them. I just love them. So I went back hoping that they had more and they did not, but they did have some other fall florals and I've already styled those on this bookshelf <laughs> behind me. So I'm actually going to pick the camera up and take you all to our shelf and show you all the florals that I got. All right, here we are. Y'all don't judge our bookcase it is an absolute work in progress and fun fact we never really truly styled it we just kind of threw up some <laughs> some items to fill it in but I've been just like coming up with ideas on how to make it more our style and also make it appropriate for the season so I started with the top shelf and I added in that little arrangement right there but all the foliage up top that you see I thrifted except for this plant this is real that's Hadassah and she is my husband's first love <laughs> but she's real everything else is faux and thrifted well these over here are from home goods but I'm getting rid of those but all the other stuff that you see that's like the deeper tones and hues and like that look dried are from the thrift store so I'll take you through and tell you how much everything costs so I've already spoken to you guys about this little purple distressed piece of pottery, which I love. Um, but the florals in it are actually silk thrifted flowers. And so I trimmed that piece of eucalyptus because it was just too long. And then I paired it with this plum rose and then this blush rose for a nice little arrangement. And each one of those stems were just 50 cent. These stems were also 50 cent and it's just two. It looks like a whole you know bushel but it's not it's just this little hanging wisteria and then this red hydrangea bush and i think the contrast with the white alabaster bowl and it's not real alabaster it's like resin but made to look like alabaster i just thought that was so 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 pretty so we got that right at the top of the bookshelf and then next to it, this floral or this like leaf arrangement is actually like one bundle and it was $2.99 and I loved it paired with this really tall like slate blue vase um, and it just adds a lot of height and I like the shape of it. I just liked everything about it. So 
got that as a little vignette over here and lastly we have this little wax fern and i love that it's wax versus like dried florals or silk because this is going to last forever in a day and i love this little fern i believe i got that for 199 either 199 or 299 but it's just the perfect piece just to, again to add some height and interest to the top of the bookcase so yeah, I'm really just like trying to update the place with florals more than anything because that's easy and inexpensive to do. And at 50 cent, each one of those is 50 cent and those two each were 50 cent. And the Lotus Pod was 50 cent, 27 cent. Y'all can't beat that with a 50 stick. 50 cent a piece, how nuts is that, right? Now, when I told you guys about these florals, I told you that this one, no, 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 the Lotus Pod had a sticker on it and it was 50 cent what well, was a dollar and they took it down to 50 cent 27 cent for customer appreciation day but then because these did not have a tag on them i was charged a dollar right well the next day when i went back the guy um that was ringing me up he just used the same like stem he just scanned the 50 cent one multiple times and i'm thinking like why can the other woman do that disrespectful you could you could have given me that again you got these things free you can give them to me for 50 cents sis you don't have to charge me the full dollar my husband thinks it's hilarious that i go off on these rants about thrift store deals that i did not secure but it's the principle of the matter moving on so i only got a few other items outside of the florals i was really there just looking for florals so i really only picked up maybe two additional items yeah just two other things three other things so the first one is this really beautiful wooden picture frame. And it has that ornate detail that you, you would see on frames that have been like gilded or painted gold. But I actually like that it's a dark wood. So I'm not gonna paint it. I'm gonna leave it just like this. And maybe over time I'll change my mind and maybe I can like paint it black or gold or whatever color at that point in time. But right now I'm really enjoying the, the dark, wood and this was only a dollar and i mean it doesn't have a backing on it but i don't really care about that i'm just gonna pop a picture in it and then sit it on like an easel got this for one dollar in a different thrift haul that's still to come filmed it today but it'll be coming to you later <laughs> so yeah i mean i don't really need the backing on it when i can just sit it on the easel and have that like sit on the shelf how nice is that, y'all? One dollar. Second to last piece is this really beautiful piece of pottery. I love the color on this. It is just so nice. And it had two stickers on it. And I'm, listen, I try to be honest at the thrift store. It is not worth messing up my blessings for a two, three, four dollar item at the thrift store. So I don't ever remove anything or try to like have a gotcha kind of moment at the thrift store i just let it be whatever it is um, i love the items regardless and they're in inexpensive so whatever but it had two stickers on it and this one said 2.99 but this one said 1.99 so i took it up to the counter just as is and i'm like listen it has two stickers on it i don't know which one is which it really doesn't matter but i just wanted to show you that and the guy was like oh i'll give you the cheaper price it's no big deal thank you i'll take that but i just like this this can be styled on our shelves all year round this has all the tones that i love for our home but it's also really fall appropriate because we have this like red tone that goes into this plum purple and then that kind of cerulean blue down to the navy blue and then this base has like a rusty orange so pretty and i love that it's glazed too so it gives a nice little pop of shine love that got it for 1.99 and and the very last item of this haul y'all might think i'm crazy for it but go with me on it okay go with me i picked up this little potted plant <laughs> wait 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 before you judge me keep watching keep listening i was watching emily faith's video she did this video where she went to the thrift store with the goal of finding tacky items and she's hilarious she called it like tacky to tasteful <laughs> and she picked up something like this and she just cut out all of this like foliage and kept this base as like a nice little 
uh what do you call it just decor piece like a nice little decor piece and i'm like that is a good idea sis because this is really well made i don't even know what material this is it kind of looks like wood but i'm not sure but it's a really hefty material and it was 250 and i just think that's gonna look so nice styled up well we're gonna get rid of all of this like she shows in her video like how she got rid of all this she just kind of took an exacto knife and gutted it and so i'm gonna do the same thing and then just be left with this really beautiful piece at the bottom i think she painted and like stained hers i'm not gonna do that i actually like the way this looks as is um so i'm just gonna get rid of the top clean it up a little bit and have a really beautiful piece of shelf decor this is definitely gonna go on a bookshelf um i don't know it just gives me like academia vibes so got that and that wraps up this thrift haul and I ended on this note specifically because I do plan to do a DIY thrift flip video it's going to feature this and it's going to feature some other pieces that I've picked up that are really nice like they have nice bones uh oh listen they're inexpensive but they're mine we don't want anything broken <laughs> it's going to feature that um item that I just showed as well as a couple of other items that I picked up that I want to flip to make um, more our style but it's gonna be super beginner friendly why because I'm a beginner I don't do all the DIY things but I do take inspiration from people that I see here on this platform and I think it's gonna be fun to like try it out and see if I can make something that's not so my taste my taste so be on the lookout for that video I hope to film that soon and get it out to you guys soon but that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. I enjoyed filming this. I enjoyed shopping. I used to thrift so much back in the day, especially in my college days. If any of my college friends are here, then y'all know that the, the thrift store love was real. <laughs> um, and so it's just my love for thrifting has kind of been reignited and I'm so excited about that. So. Hopefully you enjoyed this fall thrift haul. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite item was. And if you have any styling ideas or tips or as I'm talking about things, you like, oh, you can use it for this or that purpose. Let me know. Help me out. Like I said, this is my first time decorating for the season. And yeah, I'm excited. Let me know if you would want to see that, like a decorate with me video. Because I plan to just kind of pop these things around the house. I wasn't planning on showing that process. But if you are interested in seeing that, let me know. And I'll definitely film that for you. Why am I this way? I forgot an item. One last thing. Look at this. This little like decorative goblet. $1.99. I love the aging on it. The patina is so nice all the way around and I envision this styled with some white florals but not just any old white florals like the white hanging florals kind of like the red wisteria that I showed in that faux alabaster bowl um, but just white I feel like that contrast here would be so nice so I picked that up we're gonna do some things with this stay tuned I'm gonna get on out of here I I need to pick up my baby from school very soon and so I am gonna need to clean all this up so she don't come in here breaking up all of my thrift finds throwing them around like rag dolls <laughs> so I am gonna go thank you so much for being here if you're brand spanking new welcome thanks for stopping by we hope you like it here and we hope you stick around please think about subscribing to everybody here whether you're new or not please leave me a comment like this video if you liked it um, it also really helps our channel to grow when you guys engage with us and yeah join our growing family and we will see you guys in the next one bye y'all done with that it's hot let me tell y'all something it's 79 degrees outside and i'm sitting up in here with a sweater on filming fall haul but i don't care because it's fall it's my winning season it's my winning season i'm winning with fashion I'm winning with food, and I'm winning with fall activities. It's fall, y'all, okay? It's hot, though. <laughs> it don't feel like fall just yet, but I don't care. It needed a moment. You needed to get a little puff sleeve sweater moment. This sweater's from Shein, by the way. If I can find it, I'll link it, but it's like two years old. I doubt it, but I'll try. Again, y'all, give me some feedback. Let me know how I did. I feel like I was all over the place in this video today. 
and if I was, it's okay to tell me. Um, if I need to slow down because <laughs> I'm talking too fast, it's okay to tell me. If it's boring and I'm belaboring an item, it's okay to tell me. Like I, like I always say, I want to make these more enjoyable for you all to watch and easier for me to film. So give me that feedback down in the comment section below. And I will see y'all next time. Happy fall. Fall festival. updating for the fall season and yes Nyla is here you will hear her throughout this video pause please <laughs> hey there welcome or welcome back to our channel here we go already hey there welcome back no, welcome back who is this Medea I can't but um I popped into the thrift store and Hello, Joshua. Hello, how are you doing? And Nyla. Hi, I'm Hold, once again. We're gonna speed this up because obviously time is not on my side and these people don't respect me when I'm filming. <laughs> um.